Hello, EOAers. I'm Travis Stovall, CEO and founder of eRep.com. I am honored to get the opportunity to talk to you about my EOA experience. I graduated in EO this year, and it's been a fun ride so far. I first want to share with you a game-changing experience that I had with EOA, and that was one day we're in our accountability groups, and the facilitator asked me what were some challenges I was facing. I, I laid them out, and he said, well, I know somebody who may have gone through something very similar. He said the person's name and said, would you like to meet them? I said, absolutely. I've been trying to meet with them for the last couple of years with no success. They made the connection. I got to spend 30 minutes talking with this individual and they dropped some serious wisdom on me about the decisions I needed to make. It was phenomenal and absolutely game changing. One of my biggest takeaways from EOA is build systems. You know, I wasn't building effective systems as I was building my company. I was putting out fires and doing all these different things. We learn about building systems at the learning days, but I wasn't taking it very seriously. And then I started taking it seriously when I became overwhelmed, when I was getting burned out. And that was a, an incredible change in the direction and the scalability of my company. And now we're getting the benefits of all of that. And I, so I'm consistently building those systems. So take that advantage of that. Lastly, if I were to leave a bit of advice uh, to the EOA group, that is access the EOA experience and the opportunities that you had to access the EOA types of learning events, those events where you can connect because not only does it, it give you a different opportunity or perspective to learn, but also the connections that you make there, the encouragement that you get there is second to none. Thank you for the opportunity to share my EOA experience with you. I want to encourage you to keep at it, and I look forward to seeing you at EO very soon. Hey, EOA family, Ariel Weedman here reporting from my office where I'm all alone and enjoying the peace and quiet. Happy to report back to you on a few uh, things about my EOA experience. Uh, the first is uh, the biggest game changer for me was really thinking about profitability and what kind of projects I need to be looking for and uh, landing in order to really achieve uh, optimum profitability for the work that we're putting in to our projects. I can't tell you how much that has changed the picture for us um, on every level. Uh, and it's really brought us to where we are today, um, which is still feeling secure uh, in our company. And I'm so grateful for that. The next thing is my takeaway. So my biggest takeaway is really the Rockefeller habits. I did not like the Rockefeller habits at all. They gave me the heebie-jeebies. I do not like structure and routine, but boy, most other people really do like structure and routine and especially my employees like our weekly meetings and really getting them involved in day-to-day um, -day thinking of uh, decision-making here and me learning where they're at. It's just, we're all on the same page. It's been a, it's also been a game changer, but that's my biggest takeaway. Um, and last, my piece of sage advice for you, um, it's just to stick with it. I know there's a lot of material to cover. I know everyone has a section of the material that they don't like. And um, I'd say just keep going, keep working those worksheets and, um, and you'll really get a lot out of the program. So that's all. I hope to see you all soon on the other side of this uh, COVID-19 mess. And I'm uh, gonna pass it on to whoever's next. Thanks. Well, hey, all you cool cats and kittens, I mean, EOA -ers. Uh I've been asked as a recent graduate to talk about my experience in EOA. And I wanted to just say, first off, it was really a great experience. Um, I had a lot of information that I learned over that period of time. And probably, you know, one of my biggest, I guess, or game changers, you would say, would be the meeting rhythms that they introduced in the book Scaling Up, basically the daily huddle, the monthly meetings, the quarterly meetings, etc. cetera. Um, that's been something that's really allowed our organization to get focused, stay organized, and uh, make sure that we're paying attention to the long-term goals. 
Uh, it took a while, probably about a year, for us to kind of really perfect that process. Um, Cause you gotta go through a lot of iterations and figure out what works for your organization, what works for the different types of positions and what information you want to take away from those meetings. But nonetheless, that was probably the biggest game changer for us. Uh, biggest takeaway I would say is that we had Greg Tra Crabtree as our instructor for learning days. And one of the things that he introduced was what's called a labor efficiency ratio. Many of you may be familiar with it. Uh, that was a huge takeaway for us um, because in our industry, which we do property management for residential multifamily properties, it was very difficult to benchmark us against competitors because there weren't a lot of common measuring sticks, at least in the residential side of the business. Um, we have a very developed side of multifamily in our industry, but you know, as far as res residential, not so much. So that was a really valuable tool that we were able to pick up and use and measure our success. Um, as far as you know, advice and so forth for you know being an EOA, one is you know definitely stick with the program. Um, but I would say that you know focus on a couple things that you really want to develop strengths in, and then stick to those and be patient with the process. Um, you know, I wanted to come into EOA initially and you know graduate in a year, a year and a half, or two years, and it took me almost you know three years to kind of get through that process to hit the uh, threshold to move into EO. Um, but it was one of those things that I just learned along the way that things oftentimes, at least for us, take two or three times longer and also sometimes are twice as hard. And a lot of that's just attributed to the fact that, you know, you don't know what you don't know. Uh, and so I would just say if my, you know, one piece of advice is just exercise patience. And with that said, you know, I really look forward to uh, you guys graduating EOA and seeing you in EO in the near future and uh, have a good time. Thank you. Hey everybody, I am Brenda Crow, a founder at Little Beast Brewing and EO member. I originally joined as an EOA member uh, just over a year ago, and I did so because I desperately needed a network of support to feel like I could successfully run our small business. Um, I absolutely got more than I had asked for. Um, I think joining this organization has been truly one of the most enriching things I've done in my career. Um, a couple of game changers that I'd love to tell you about. Uh, one of them was Cash Day with Greg, Greg Crabtree. Um, he has an incredible knack for teaching functional accounting that works and providing actionable tools that you can use right away to help you make good decisions in your business. Another really uh, impactful day for me was the three hag workshop that we did with Shannon Susco. It was a workshop intended to help you strategize for short and long-term goals and to create a plan of action. And that's really what I love about this organization is beyond just theory, um, the things that you learn are really accountability and practice based. You can put them into practice right away and quickly make a big impact in your own organization. My advice to you is to participate, um, to really build your network of peers, and to experience as much as you can and to share with others uh, and to have fun. Cheers. Cheers.